This is a story about a bird, another grumpier bird, and a dog stuck on a flying island. It all started not too long ago, a couple of months actually, deep within the Kiwi. Arr, laddie, that'll be the flying island, held aloft by blasting winds, strongest in the entire Kiwi being, I tells you. It was home to an ancient civilization or two. Your old captain used to travel up there with a mate quite a lot in my younger days, you know. To find all kinds of hidden little treasures. Until he one day went alone and disappeared. Probably visited Davy Jones's locker. So you're still sure? You still want to ship out there on your own and see it with your own eyes, lad? Aye, the adventurous spirit of a hatchling. Right, best not to wait too long then, lad. Let's get you on the water and paddling. But remember, don't get too close to the island's winds. They're stronger than Aunt Manger's chili. You might end up lost as well. <laughs> but of course, you didn't listen to the old geezer, now did you? You shipped out there on your little raft, you didn't pay attention, and you ended up on this dusty old island in the middle of the sky. And now, we are both stuck up here. You know, it's funny. I really wouldn't mind seeing that wrinkly old bird again, you know. We were even wanted in some parts of this world. Some people just don't have patience for that mischievous young spirit. <laughs> anyway, first, we need to finish this plane so we can get off this grubby island to begin with. Right, I keep working on the engine. You get out there and find us those ancient energy cells so we got something to power the plane with. Chop, chop! Woo! <laughs> 
that old ferret and I, we really used to hit up the senior. Say, son, was there anything wrong with the water down there in Kiwi Land around three years ago? It looked unfiltered. You wonder why I flew on my own back then instead of joining forces with the captain again? <laughs> Let's just say uh, it was someone's birthday coming up.
By the way, what happened to that beardy melon guy? Did he ever become king? Free. Captain. Arr, it's been 30 years. Actually, it's been barely 10. Really? Arr. Anyway, how haven't you visited Davy Jones's locker yet? Got a bit of help from your young feathery friend over there. Aye, he's a good lad. Arr, does anyone want to join me for a fruit salad tea? I can't wait to hear all the exciting adventures you two have been through. Actually, it was rather cozy. Uh, oh, yes! <laughs> yes, absolutely! Oh, the adventures! You have no idea. So many adventures. Are you buying? <laughs> the dimension of the dead. An enclosed space where every living thing goes after its time in the realm of the living is over. It exists far away from our reality. Under the watchful eye of the Guardian, none of the ghosts and ghouls can escape. Reality is at peace. However, a looming shadow from the past is about to change all of this. Kiwi! Is that you? <laughs> I did not expect to get two of you for the price of one. It's been a while, hasn't it? You have to be a tiny bit patient, though. First, I got some really nasty things planned for your little bat friend, I am sorry. Now, away with you!
What? Is this going to be a failed coup attempt again? What's the difference to the last time you guys tried this? The difference... Huh? ...is a lot more laser guns. Who are you? I am your stand-in. Upper management thought you might need a vacation. Allow me to introduce myself. They call me Melon King. Former ruler of countries, future destroyer of realities. Wait, I remember you. You are the guy who got defeated by Macbat. Well, yes and no. I am him, but better. I am a robot clone with laser guns and magical powers. A robot clone? Is this about revenge or something? Indeed. By helping the deceased escape your little prison, I'll make sure Kiwi Land will succumb to chaos. That'll teach them. Hmm, interesting. Sounds like the perfect plan for Macbat to spoil again. Okay, I have had just about enough of this. Get him out of my sight. And find me that bat! He isn't particularly wrong, you know.
Again, one final battle. Time to turn you two into laser dust.
moves. Let me show you mine. your help, reality would be in shambles right now. I can't imagine how much hate that Melon must have had in him to create an apocalyptic robot copy of himself. Oh well, you stopped it. That is all that matters. Now, time to get you two back home. Unless... I could invite you onto a trip through different dimensions. If you're interested, it's the least I could do to thank you. <laughs> okay, all right. Next stop, wherever you want to go. And so our entire world was saved by two little heroes. The dead were stopped from leaking out of the afterlife, and the Melon King's schemes were once and for all stopped. Reality was finally at peace. For real this time. <laughs>